podcast niko na vitu poa niko na vitu poza kuonyesha are you ready i don't know if you're ready yet white five on facebook at white two five four channel on to the hashtag is what in the morning my name is valentine or at color me that niko nyesha tu moja bow okay yeah look what to stick preview <laughs> So it's Monday and we have my crush Monday coming up. We're talking about the festive season and perhaps maybe anybody who feels that it's not really something to be festive about. Please do get on that conversation. Again, white five four on Facebook at white five four channel on Twitter. Hashtag is white in the morning. I can smell Christmas from where I'm sitting, guys, and it smells good good okay yes karibu sana welcome to our first segment we have an artist in the house nasiwa kuimba hmm hi hi nakapoa thank you unaitwa nani um fabish fabish yeah why are you sounding so husky and then suddenly <laughs> all romantic tukiongea tuko tunaongea hivi no i'm good i'm okay yeah yeah how do you spell your name first so that they understand <laughs> okay my name is fabish mm -hmm. F A B I S C H. Yeah, why do you have so many consonants? Okay, I think uh, maybe when my dad was getting me, he mm -hmm. loved football so much. Mm -hmm. So he named me after the 1995 coach that was uh -huh. Renan Fabish. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you going to Wanyamas just <laughs> ama up and your talent yako iko? Actually, mm. one funny thing, mm. I don't love football. Really? I'm not even a fan. <laughs> such a cool i don't know what what that is that's irony that's what it is because you're yeah. named after coach but you have no okay but let's get into something that you love to do i see a lot of things here i see a picture here of auntie she looks nice very nice smiling do you remember the names of all the people you yeah, draw by the way I you do. do yeah what's her name uh, that's celestine no, she's celestine <laughs> she's uh she's doing this uh movie called uh how do you call it? It's on hmm. Maisha Magic. Mm -hmm. The girl Selena. Oh. If you watch Selena. I clearly do not partake in television, but it's right here next to me on my right. Yeah. It looks very nice. So how long does she have to sit still? I'm on a picture to look there. Okay, fine. Uh, sometimes I I do things based on what I say. Mm -hmm. Like uh, the Selena movie. Mm -hmm. It's it's so nice and I love it. Mm -hmm. So from there, the character who enticed me most in the mm -hmm. movie was Selena. So that's why I did that portrait. Mm, I see you. Yeah. It's like paying homage. All right, we have another lovely lady over here. Bah! What's her name? Okay, that's Cindy. Mm -hmm. yeah. See? Cindy. Hi, Cindy. You look nice. Uh huh. Yeah, so when I was doing that portrait, mm -hmm. Cindy sort of means a lot to me. Da when we da met, da she, she sort of changed some things in my life, and uh -huh. she's made me learn a lot of things too. Mm -hmm. So that's why I did that portrait. Mm. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm <laughs> telling you, I'm quite liking your inspiration. It's making me happy. And there's another one here I would like to know what inspired you. As if <laughs> nameless. Baby, you inspire me. Ni me ku inspire pa. Okay. There's this thing we call going to the extreme, mm -hmm. pushing yourself as an artist. Mm -hmm. That's Snoop Dogg. Mm -hmm. Maybe when somebody sees that portrait, he just sees whatever Snoop Dogg is doing. But for me, when I see it, I see something different. What do you see? I see shades. Okay, what it's do you shades. Mm -hmm. And uh, one crazy thing about the picture that I loved most mm -hmm. was I wanted to see, could I really draw smoke using a biro pen? Mm -hmm. So yeah. That's the main reason why I did that portrait. Any biro as in biro ya kawaida? Yeah, that's big. Yeah, it's quite not made casual. Big, that's big. I just had to make sure. Crystal. So you, while you hold a big, you can do this. Yeah. Me nine kishka big ni exendo. And I like the stubble. Like you're so in touch with detail. Wow. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. All right. There we go. Snoop Doggy Dog doing his thing. Guys, no, just at us on White Five Four channel on Twitter. Thanks. Yeah, you look nice. <laughs> Moving on swiftly, I see two children over there, and I can tell the identity by their hair. <laughs> tell us about that one. Okay, uh, this this one friend I met once right mm. here at White Five Four. Oh my gosh. Ekodida. Mm -hmm. This guy is um, somebody who really promotes fellow artists. Mm -hmm. He's so inspiring. Mm -hmm. He's got so much of 
very nice advices mm -hmm. and um I just did that as a souvenir for Echo. Mm -hmm. And I think I should be delivering that portrait when I get out of this place. Ah, yeah. So it's hot. Like, you might talk about Jiko Sai. Not really. It's, it's, been, it's been out for. <laughs> <laughs> it's no, been out I'm for? being frank, but he knows <laughs> about it. So uh -huh. I should be dropping it to him. Oh, wow. Can yeah. I sign my name on it? So that he knows it passed through it. It's okay. He will. He will <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I see a rail right next to you. Ah, what inspired you there? Okay. Mm. For a rail, maybe she gives me flashbacks about somebody. Mm. And that's one. Rusky. And another thing. <laughs> uh -huh. Another thing. And uh -huh. the main reason why I did a rail was because of the movie, Two Different Worlds, Worlds of Outing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's this movie she did. And it was about the ghetto life mm -hmm. and the suburb life and it's totally one of the best things that i love about kenyan movies the first time i saw avril acting was in sugar i have never been impressed like that i did not know avril could act that girl can act exactly so hey. two different worlds uh -huh. showed me something different mm -hmm. about avril herself mm -hmm. how she carried out herself She's humble and at the same time asks to be somebody she's not. Uh -huh. So another good thing when I did the, this portrait, huh. she really gave me quite a shout out. Aww. And thanks to Avril, so whenever she, she is. Because I think that month was one of my good months with oh my being at. And it's her baby's first Christmas. Hey, Avril, you're having a good year also, you. All right, so one other picture that caught my eye before we get to your tools of trade is this one. So we have um, what what looks like a... Is this a wine glass? Yeah, it yeah? is. The stem is looking like a wine glass stem. And then uh. there is a shark in there. Why is there a shark? What, what are you trying to tell me here? Okay. Um, I hope KBL won't sue me for this. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. yeah but uh, the main reason why I did uh, mm -hmm. that wine glass and a shark in it was because I was trying to maybe reach out to mm -hmm. fellow Kenyans mm -hmm. who do too much of drugs and they drink a lot of alcohol. Mm -hmm. Trust me, anytime we are taking in alcohol into our body mm -hmm. it purely eats us from the inside because this is the point where you find somebody suffering from mm -hmm. liver cirrhosis mm -hmm. and with that portrait i think for anybody who sees that portrait and mm -hmm. understands it the way i do oh actually won't really be C can an I addict of burst, alcohol burst your bubble a little bit me the first time i saw it i just thought wow <laughs> it looks so cool i can see the fins on the shark it has teeth oh my gosh but what does it mean that's the first reaction i had yeah so art art has so mm. many different things when you see any piece of art it must always have a clue mm -hmm. makes me admire da vinci's work a lot because mm -hmm. anytime you follow about da vinci's creations mm -hmm something always pushed him to do it mm -hmm. yeah me they started a code cg da vinci code and i gave up on anything and all <laughs> things da vinci like i'm tired <laughs> but here we are okay so we have a little more goodies of pictures but we want to focus on what he uses what am i looking at me naona two pencil is a kawaida pamanze na kuna moja na kai pencil okay walk me through this what's going on here here i mm -hmm. got uh, i think almost three or four brands of pencils mm -hmm. one i have stayed there mm -hmm. two i have faber castell mm -hmm. point and, uh, i want you to point okay. at what you're saying this is a lumograph pencil okay and uh it's from the stadler company mm -hmm. but majorly designed for artists mm -hmm. yeah okay just uh -huh. this is a 7b pencil there we go of, uh, okay so how many eh, so any card dexter how many pencils do you use in a day Really, one pencil could do up to 20 portraits. Okay, you're lying to me. Because according <laughs> to, let's just even look for another picture, okay? okay. Here's a picture of a Coca-Cola can. Okay. So, you want to tell me all this shading that you did? <laughs> huh? All that shading, mm -hmm. this pencil could do that piece of art. That small one. Yeah. Eh, oh my God. Okay. You can see all the shadings and all the nice looking things and the depth. 
This is very nice. And then this is the pencil that he said you can use. <laughs> yeah, trust me. You see, graphite graphite is easy to manipulate. Wow. Because uh, the moment I just do a few shades mm. on the paper, mm. I'll always use a tissue paper to smudge it so that I spread it to the other places oh. you get. So it doesn't, it's not that much work it's just it's it's not too much work mm -hmm. but technically it is because mm -hmm. if you're not keen enough you'd mess up the whole thing hey <laughs> <laughs> you really can't do that because <laughs> that's that's Fair. the reason why i think i carried this portrait okay that we have another portrait he's putting things on the table <laughs> remember nakawi you auntie i'm ready this one looks nice one. Oh, i like her her extremely pose goja wait What's her name? Okay, mm. I she's called Agnes. Agnes. I don't know whether she's a model or something, mm -hmm. but uh, I did this project Val, just for practicality's sake. Okay, fine. <laughs> Let's call her Val. <laughs> uh -huh. We can call her Val then. <laughs> yeah, so that's a pencil portrait of uh -huh. an A3. Mm -hmm. And uh, the reason why I carried it unframed, because it was already framed, but I unframed it, mm -hmm. was because I wanted you to prove if you can really rub that, mm -hmm. even with your finger. Rub? Yeah. Aha, uh -huh. you have come to the right place. Do you have a rubber? I'm an ifa to Okay, obviously, when I do something like that, you wouldn't take a rubber to rub it off because you'd love it too much. So many so ambient rub. Just listen. Okay. So <laughs> let's just take your finger and maybe try rub it, like smudge it off with your finger. Can I try her face? Yeah, Another it's foundation. okay. It's okay. There's no problem. Way. Okay, guys, let me look for a nail that looks good on TV. There you go. And then we try and smudge it. It's not smudgy, okay? See? Wow. Exactly. So Why? A what kind of pencil is this? A portrait like that could last in forever. Wow. Trust me. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. because oh, of the quality. Okay, I'm not but I'm not going to vote. It's the quality of the pencil. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Wow. All right. So those are the pencils. And then yeah, I so see. Is that here, white out? What? Yeah, this is white out. Why do you have white out? White out, I can use it to put uh, very minute white details. Oh. Yeah. Maybe like the eyeball when there is sharp light on it. You could just use a white out for the detailing. Ding. Yeah. Okay. And what's this green thing that looks like this? These, the, these two pencils, mm -hmm. we call them mechanical pencils. Mm. These ones, I usually use them for detailing. In a car school physium too. Uh -huh. <laughs> Not really. Okay. Just enough mm -hmm. affordable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this one, I usually use it for detailing. Maybe the pimples on the faces and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And a little bit of the hair strands that. Oh. Hang out, yeah. Like in the back of the yeah, neck exactly. area. Yeah. Mm, mm -hmm. I feel so enlightened. Yeah. Okay, what's the the box over there? Okay. That one and yes, yeah. what's that? In a kaka briefcase, katani, nikanini. This is just a rubber. We oh. call it. Uh, this is a rubber. Okay. It's not. It's not that modeling clay for school children. It's a rubber, trust me. Guys, wait. Okay, look. Ati atini rubber. See, <laughs> see, 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 see life, see life. Ati is a your rubber. Yeah, it's Ona. a rubber. How? Okay. Ina ka chewing gum manze. It's not. Can you can you please help me? It does this not portrait? smell like chewing gum, guys. Hmm? Uh, let me show you why it's a rubber. Oh ho! We're going to rub something. Yeah. Okay, to sim rub nyele. <laughs> it's okay. Ah! It's it's. Falling apart, literally. Okay, this so is so cool. You should try and look at this. It technically rubs up. And a bleach. Yeah. yeah it's wow. A, it's a detailed rubber. Okay. Yeah. I'm convinced now it's a rubber. Yeah. So I Aisha. Mm, okay, fine. It just gets dirty with time, but you could use it for more than two years. Oh. Before you change to another one. Now kuna kufua. Mm, you can't really fool that. <laughs> <laughs> you can't really do that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What is the best thing about making your art? Okay, the best thing about making my art. Okay, mm -hmm. many people believe it's all about the money. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. But there's money. 
yeah there's money in art i could welcome anybody who is uh, really out there trying to look for a job and it's not there if you're a talented artist trust me you should really start investing in art is it something you can grow into like maybe Nikiwa high school ni kwa nacheza na stickman like a kona you know four limbs evo evo then now i want to delve into it properly is it something i can learn you know yeah you can learn art mm -hmm. But uh, there is always a difference between somebody who just learns art without the passion mm -hmm. and the person who learns art with the passion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There are those people who go to school mm -hmm. to take fine arts. And you'll still find somebody like that maybe still looks for fabish arts in, on social media for mentorship. <laughs> Uh, hey, trust me, this happens to me a you're lot. You're a humble one. <laughs> <laughs> and will give us your handles on social media, just okay? <laughs> on social media, I'm um, at Fabi Shats. That's on Instagram, uh -huh. Facebook, and Twitter. Okay. Yeah, I also have a page called Fabi Shats. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So you make deliveries, you you take orders, and things like that. Exactly. So you have like a time frame. If I wanted my portrait, say tomorrow. Okay. No. If I wanted to tell you I want a portrait today, how okay. many days would it take you to deliver? Okay, let's say if you give an order for a portrait today, mm. you'll give me five days okay. or if less, four days because mm -hmm. I also have other jobs in line. So you just okay. can't come in and skip. And if you have to do that, mm. then you'd pay more. Oh my so if you'd gosh. be wishing to pay more, hey. then I'd fix in the line Ooh. faster. Auntie looks nice on the TV. What portrait is that? Is it this one? Ay, ay, ay. It's just because that one, yes, okay, that looks so okay, good. Okay, okay, okay. I like the details in the eyes. Sana sana pon de menishika. Oh really? Yeah. Okay, you How that's like umechora eyelashes, yo. That's eh. an that's an F4 portrait, but it took me quite a while to How do. How long? This portrait took me roughly around 40 hours mm -hmm. because I was trying to learn something new with a different style of shading mm -hmm. and also a different kind of pencil that mm -hmm. I had just imported then. So I wanted to see what I could really do with uh -huh. something different. Okay. So I just I was just on my Instagram page then I met that that piece of uh -huh. that piece of picture. Uh -huh. So when I met it and then I said this would be good for some detailing then nah. I did it. Fabish, yeah. the way you're drawing these things, you can draw better eyebrows than a lot of people I know. <laughs> Have you ever thought of doing makeup, Mazi? Okay, I've been thinking and uh, of venturing into different types of media art. Uh -huh. I've been thinking of being a makeup artist true. for movie, mm. movies. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe do something like sculpturing, but yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Sculpturing? Yeah. Eh. You should just even just do makeup, like for real. Look at, <laughs> look at, the, Yanni. He, what? Look at her eye. Like that wing is giving me life. She's about to fly out of this thing. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> like he's contoured her face perfectly. This is not a makeup artist, guys. Tell me. What to find on Facebook at what to find for channel on Twitter. Hashtag is what in the morning. All right, Fabish. Yeah. Now, what would you like to tell the people at home? I want you to encourage somebody. Okay, mm. like, uh, I think I should just address the parents mm. majorly. I won't really talk to the talented artists today because mm. if you have talent, no matter what you face, you will mm. always look up to doing everything so that you can make it in life as an artist. Mm. So to every parent who is having a kid, maybe still three years old and still growing, mm. like my daughter loves pencils a lot. Aww. And uh, I would really encourage everybody mm. out there mm. to help their children what they do mm -hmm. so that they can also understand much more in whatever talent they have. Mm -hmm. We have music, we have football, we have pencil artists, we mm. have painters, and more sort of other different talents. And for any parent who is trying to force a child into the school system, Maybe it's never going to help mm -hmm. because personally I did IT, mm -hmm. but here I am today mm -hmm. doing art my whole time. Mm -hmm. It's not like uh, I really have to struggle so mm -hmm. hard for me to get a job, but I've employed myself. Mm -hmm. At least maybe in the near future, I'm also going to create employment to other people. And 
I could also give a shout out to more of my friends whom I know. Mm -hmm. Majorly, I'll first address Nelly Mchoraje. Oh I'll my gosh, shout out Nelly. He came to it for one. he was amazing. Yeah. Hi Nelly. So mm -hmm. I really encourage him to keep on helping other upcoming artists mm -hmm. because if he's helped me make it here, mm -hmm. then he can also help somebody out there make and it so here. And so can you. That's my challenge for you today. The next time I see an artist on TV, I want them to give a very, very big shout out to Fabish. Yeah, I've also mentor. mentored people. I uh -huh. think you're, you've interviewed one of my students here. Oh my gosh. At Kyoko Mchoraji. He's, uh -huh. he's very good with colored pencils right now. Uh -huh. And um, I'm so happy. Anytime I see an artist I made mm -hmm. go to the limelight, it's, it's a good feeling. I like that. Yeah. It's important for everyone to understand that, baby, you can shine, I can shine too. doesn't matter if we're doing the same thing. Exactly. doesn't really matter. The cake is big out here, okay? Don't need to compete all the time. And, uh, I've seen DJ Pinye somewhere. I uh, know it's John Falme. Ah. Yeah. Ah 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 ah. To mechoma. Only John Falme. Yeah, Mona, it's, it's okay. John Falme. Okay, but you should not have a coffee, man. He looks a little <laughs> bit different. Yeah, I know. Why John Falme? Okay, this John Falme art was it was crazy. There's mm. a there's this friend of mine. Mm -hmm. We used to do art with him like the whole time mm -hmm. and uh, we always had this one slogan and we came up with something we called it uh, at customs mm -hmm. uh, this is a place whereby we could do a collab mm -hmm. in art there's some few pieces we did for one kidero I'm mm -hmm. confused collab exactly so now you collab art maybe somebody draws the head somebody does that the clothing no it doesn't it doesn't trust me it doesn't we did a portrait for kidero uh -huh. that was uh, late last year he paid well mm. and uh, we also did a portrait for willis raburu and his wife and uh -huh. a number of clients mm -hmm. so out there, Karoli is a very good artist. Mm -hmm. Majorly in pencil, he does miracles. I respect him a lot. Wow. So to Karoli Arts, man, big ups Joe. He's also made it a lot in art. Mm -hmm. Because I see like this year, I think I've been off the limelight Kidogo. Because mm. uh, I was away on vacation. And Welcome uh, back. I've been, I've been seeing a lot of stuff going on mm -hmm. this guy delivered portraits to people like uh, taras when he came to kenya mm -hmm. chronics and all those artists who've been coming in Romain virgo he was around <coughs> okay i wasn't in kenya by then mm -hmm. i went to see my favorite sweetest person of all times yes, that's, a way that's way. my show show yeah so i went to see shosh mm -hmm. so i wasn't around mm -hmm. that's why i didn't do that but um i'm glad carly did it mm -hmm. yeah all right yeah. so he promised me previously before we started the interview that he's going to give me a portrait yeah, I want my makeup on fleek like this. Thanks. Okay. Uh, and, okay, I, this is the last question before we go. Okay. Um, I, I was very interested. This, how do I phrase this? There's a place I visited before. Okay. Ilikwa Mall Flani. And then at the, not really basement, but one of the, okay. Nakwambia tundio ni kumbuke. It's okay. <laughs> So this guy would have people sit in front of him okay. and do their art. So he'd display just like we've displayed here okay. over there. I love Kuna place Yakuka. Yes, there was I, I took a picture there and he did it for me, it was fantastic. Okay. But I've also seen it being done live. Yeah. Is that something that you offer? Okay. I do that but uh, in most cases, you know, the problem with doing live sketches mm -hmm. is like you're seated right now. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you just can't keep your head that way for I the can't. next 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. You'll have to move uh -huh. eventually. Uh -huh. And when you do that, possibly I will miss a proportion. Not really, you. a blink, uh -huh. but. Uh, the moment you move, mm. obviously, there's a change in something. Okay. Facial expressions and all that. Okay. So something changes. So it's tricky day. Yeah, it's tricky day, but we do it once in a while. We do it. I like how he will not refuse a challenge. Yeah. I really, really like that. Yeah. All right, please take your nice rubber before I finish <laughs> it's okay. playing with it it's okay. and go home with it. Oh my gosh, thank you so very much for coming, Fabish. You're welcome.
Oh man, all this art is just amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Shout out to all the beautiful people who got their pictures into portraits. Yeah, and I think you should still stay tuned to Wine in the Morning from 7 to 10 in the a.m. with the hottest breakfast show around. And we have a surprise for you at Wide 54 on Facebook, at Wide 54 channel on Twitter. Hashtag is Wide in the Morning. Please do stay with me and enjoy as we spice up your week.